As an example, we installed a selection of our smart automation and monitoring system, SUMS for short, on this exhibit. Here you can see an IOLINK master module for the acquisition of the signals of the SUMS components and a so-called IOLINK hub for the acquisition of the signals of the standard components. Furthermore, a range of optical and inductive sensors, a capacitive rod probe for level measurement, inductive coupling systems for contactless signal transmission and RFID read-write systems for the identification of, for example, format parts. With the corresponding dashboards, the additional information for each component can now be displayed and monitored. In the first overview, we see a list of all the used components and the status if these components are connected or if the, the, the device is maybe disconnected. As well, you can see an overview about the working hours of every single component, so you can see how long these components are already in use. On the right side, in this list, you can select the detailed information about every single component. In the condition monitoring overview, we see a comprehensive information of all the used components in regards of internal device temperature, an overview about the inclination deviation, vibration information, and a status about the signal quality of every single component. If we simulate the vibration, for example, with a short motor, we will see that uh, the vibration information of this specific component, which is exactly this optical sensor, is rising up. Um, and you can see that the vibration source is mounted in this area, so the information about this um, vibration is high. It's the highest, especially with this component. All the other information of the other components are um, low. As well, we can simulate the inclination information, and we will do this again with this specific sensor. If we are moving it out of the actual position, we see that the inclination information of this component is rising, and at the same time the signal quality is going down. If we are moving back to the original position, then we see that the inclination information is going down again and the signal quality is going up again. Now we started our new Baluf engineering tool and the first thing we have to do is to scan the topology. This we can do with this menu here and first of all we have to select the used interface in our PC and select the scan. Now the software is uh, checking the actual topology and will find the IOLINK master module with all the connected, connected components. So you see again that this is our IOLINK master module and we have here all the connected devices on our exhibit. For some of these devices we don't have an actual IODD implemented, so we will uh, deselect these devices here from the topology and add this to the graphical display. So you see that we have now the possibility to display our topology in a graphical way. And the first thing we can do is to uh, double click on the master module. If we do that, then we will open the internal web inter interface of the master module and we already see an information about the actual situation of the topology. That means an information of all the different connected components on every single port of the master. For example, on port 7 there is the IO-Link IO module, module connected and if we disconnect it, we will see this directly here in the message display of the master module. If we connect it again, then the message will change and we will get the information that the module is back again. Uh, with the button on the top of the module, we can select the condition monitoring area of the IOLINK master module 
and we're getting the information about the working hours, uh, the system time and the boot cycle information. We are going to get the internal temperature and the information about the power supply and the current. Detailed information of every connected IOLink device we're going to get with the system information. Um, here in the first area we can find for every single connected component the information about the working hours, the system time, the boot cycles and the signal quality. Next area will show us the electrical values. Again, uh, for every single component, the information about the current on pin 1, the power on pin 1, and the uh, overall current and the overall power. Last information are the environmental information. Again, for every single connected component, the internal temperature, uh, the outside temperature, the vibration information, and the uh, environmental pressure. If we are going back to the topology, we also can select every single connected component. First of all, we will try to use this optical sensor, and if we are open it, then we, the first information we are getting is the identification uh, in regards of vendor name, vendor text, product name, and all these information. Next area is parameter. In the parameter area, we have the opportunity to send a so-called ping. That means sending a signal to the device and the LED on the device will flash in blue. Other opportunities are application reset or factory reset settings. We can configure a signal counter to count the objects which are detected from the module we can use the counter as a speed monitoring component. That means counting uh, signals in a specific defined time. We can configure signal delays uh, depending on specific uh, channels we are using. We can configure the boot cycle counter and the operating hours counter. We can set a value for the signal quality. That means if the signal quality is lower than this threshold what we are setting here then we're going to get an information same with the internal operating temperature we have the information about the maximum the minimum and the average operating temperature and we can set min and max values again we're getting messages if min or max values are out of range switching channels means uh, that we have the possibility to set the teach points of uh, measuring devices. The inclination information can be set. This is also a teach procedure. Um, when mounting the component, uh, we can set the actual position. And if the device is moving out of this actual position, we can get a message or a warning. Same situation with the vibration. It's not only the RMS uh, value we are going to get, but also the peaks in direction X, Y or Z. All components are configured and parameterized in the same way, have the same range of functions and have the same diagnostic messages. This immensely simplifies the installation and operation of the complete system.